I got a request on YouTube to um, do a little bit of an overview of my Vio UX micro PC in relation to JAWS. Now, I'm going to try and explain this for those of you who are fully sighted and might not know what I'm talking about. JAWS is a screen reader. It stands for Job Access with Speech. And what it does is it takes what you're normally seeing, like for example, right now you're watching YouTube. Um, YouTube is too graphical, but let's say you're checking your email, right? Well, it takes that email that's displayed on screen and wraps it to an electronic speech synthesizer for those who cannot see very well. This is running JAWS. And somebody wanted me to take a look um, and um, go ahead and... Uh, demonstrated. I apologize for not using your name, but um, I can't remember it off the top of my head. All I remember was that it started with an A, but so I, I apologize. Anyway, so we're going to turn this on. And now I have to make sure it's going to boot into Windows and not Linux. So. Yep, Windows XP Professional. Now we're going to go ahead and watch it boot up. And while it does, um, JAWS on this system is... Eh. Oh, by the way, for those of you who can see, I've got a custom skin on here to make it look like Vista. Because I like the look of Vista, I didn't want to have to deal with the technicalities of Vista, so I figured give it a skin, make it look like Vista, and shut up. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome. Now, I do have to tell you, this thing takes about, in total, from... From power up, it takes about two and a half minutes when all is said and done. Once you get all through, through, through all of the, the, the demo software and and whatnot. So, so once it's all is said and done here. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering about a background, I don't have one. I turned it off because I wanted something that wouldn't be so hard on the eyes. Okay, so we heard a click, so I think... Let me see if I can get this running. So let's see if I can get into the start menu. And, um, hang on a moment. I'll have to access this manually. Um, programs, quick map, JAWS, um, hmm. well, because it's currently, I don't have, um, do I have JAWS 8 on here? I don't know, we'll just use JAWS 7. Okay, JAWS 7, where are you? There we go, whoops. And begin. Pardon me a moment. It takes a moment for JAWS to run, to, to load, so while it's doing that, I'm going to address this real quick. Okay, so I don't know if you could hear that. 
let me zoom out and uh, we'll go ahead and tab here Escape, rock, RM, internet, recycle bin. well anyway I've got the I've got the star dock up here but jaws is not recognizing it um, it's really hard for me to do this on YouTube, but I will say that there are certain commands. For example, insert F1 won't work. Um, at least it's either insert F1 or insert number one that won't work. Um, which basically means you can't get to your help with the keyboard shortcut. There are some commands that won't work, but overall, um, at least not with the thumb keyboard. If you have a full-sized keyboard, it'll work, because this is a full-size Windows computer in the palm of my hand. Start menu RAM, file recovery sub menu to move through items, press up or down arrow V. So let's arrow. Go to file web support G, Napster N, set program access at default S, file backup utility V, file security center V, file support central V. So everything that's on here is what you'd expect from a typical VIO computer. Windows catalog W, Windows update W, program sub menu P. And you can see the JAWS is performing flawlessly. Um, I don't know what to tell you about Vista, because I put JAWS 8 on here with Vista and it crashed. And I think I have JAWS 8 on here, but I don't want to take the time to find it. So, um, but you get the idea. Overall, uh, JAWS on, on this, um, let, me, let me go ahead and shut it down. So it's shutting down. <sighs> Overall, would I uh, run run JAWS on here? I would, but I'd recommend having an external keyboard. Uh, this particular system itself, uh, 512 megs of or is it 512 or a gig? No, it's 512. 512 megs of RAM, 40 gig hard drive. Um, excuse me. 1.0 gigahertz Intel Centrino. Um, and that's about it. There really isn't too much in terms of fanciness, but um, you know it's your typical computer in the in, in the size of something that you can almost fit in your pocket. Is it a good investment? I don't know. It's exceedingly expensive. It's around seventeen hundred to twenty four hundred dollars, depending on your configuration. And while it is a full size computer, it doesn't have the benefits of a true portable. In other words, you don't get all day battery life. In fact, battery life on this thing is rather pathetic. It's about two and a half to three two uh, it's two and a half hours of a stretch. And they want three hundred dollars for an expanded battery, and it really cuts down on the portability of the system because it sticks out like a sore thumb. So um, just you know, do your research. I do have to warn you though, I'm not sure if the UMPCs are around anymore. Take a look at the Windows uh, netbooks, such as the EPC that runs at Windows XP, the Lenovo S10, or the Dell um, Inspiron Mini. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Any questions and comments are welcome. I do hope this helped you, and again, I do apologize for not remembering your screen name. Uh, thank you for watching. Comments are welcome, and have a nice evening.